back to Red Ted Art. Yes, it's thing one and it's thing two. And today we're going to make a Dr. Seuss bookmark. Thing one, thing two, to celebrate Dr. Seuss's birthday coming up in March. Anyway, let's take a look and see how they're made. To make thing two, you will need some paper, mainly white and some other colours, red and blue, glue stick, scissors and some pens. So let's take a look and see how it's made. Um, turn over your corner and turn it into a square. <clears throat> Get those cables out of the way. Here we go. Now you all know how to make a basic corner bookmark because I know you've been here many times. But just in case you don't, we'll do it again. Now keep this little bit of scrap because you can use it for the details later on um, and also for other projects. So you've got your triangle turn like this. Bring this thin corner up to the big corner. Thin corner up to the big corner. Open it up again. Fold one of the two flaps down. Fold this over and tuck it in. And then again fold this over and tuck it in. Now if you need to see any of that again just pause the video, rewind and take another look. Pause it as you need to go. So you've got your basic shape, that's great. We now want to create that red corner to stick our um, thing on. I'm going to draw, take my pencil, draw around it. I know I could go into one of the corners but um, they're a bit creased so I'm just going to use this piece because it's less creased and I like it this, you know, this way it's a bit better. Less creased, more creased. So I've sketched it roughly. Try and cut it as straight as possible. Let's see if this fits. <clears throat> Moment of truth. There we go. Quite good. You can always trim it afterwards, yeah? So I'm going to glue that down and then give it a little trim. There we go. Do it as neatly as you can. But like I say, you can, or I will be trimming it down now anyway. That's my lid dropped on the floor. Here we go, give it a trim. Now, as you can see with the when we looked at it at the beginning, I didn't uh, cut this bookmark. I left the shape whole just to give it a bit more stability. If you do want to cut the shape into the face a little bit, you can glue down the flaps just to make them a bit more secure. The next thing you want to do is create a thing mark. Now I've cut this one out already because I wanted it to be exactly the same size as this one so they match. Um, but obviously if you um, haven't cut one out yet, just cut out a circle, cut two out at the same time so they're the same size. Then take your black pen and I'm just going to give it a little edge to give it kind of that cartoony effect. Now if you also noticed I didn't cut my circle very neatly, I did that on purpose. Because again, if you look at the thing one and thing twos of Dr. Seuss, they're not a perfect neat thing. So then I write thing in fat letters. Like so. Once you've written it, you can then get your two. And then also a tiny little detail for thing two has a little black mark there and there. And this one's got a little black mark here. It's really little detail but sometimes those little details make all the difference. Now carefully put some glue on it, don't try and smudge your black and glue it on. Look at that, ready looking very much like thing one and thing two. Now it's time to the face. To create your face I went quite far up, maybe two thirds of the way up and created a little nose. Then for thing one and two you have like almost a full circle and almost a full circle with a little kink, a little black bit. Here we go. And then you put the little eyebrows over the top. Here we go. Then a great big smile. Thing two has a little mouth. You can put a little. There we go. And that's Thing two's face. Isn't that cute? So sweet. I could maybe put the face a bit lower down and the eyes a bit bigger, but you know what? It's just one of those things. Now I'm going to create the hair. So there's no exact measurements. I'm going to cut a couple of smaller ones like this and then a couple of longer ones. 
like so. Um, and then we'll see how many we actually need. I'm just gonna cut a whole bunch. And then you can carefully curl them. And you can curl them in two ways. One is you just roll them up. The other one is you take your scissors and you carefully run them along like this. Now, if you um, rip it whilst you're doing it, don't worry. Just get another piece. So you don't want it too curly, actually, because otherwise it does go a bit crazy. So you can uncurl them again in a bit. And the, 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 the strength of the curl depends on how hard you, you scrape it along the scissors. Be careful when you do that, obviously. You don't want to cut yourself. Here we go. So slightly different lengths. I'm going to glue them on, get maybe a nice long one in the middle. You can always trim it a bit if it's too long. I think these might be a bit too long, actually. So I might give it a trim, give my little thing to a haircut and then you can just roll it up again there we go that's quite cute all a bit too long but like I say it's not an exact science let's have a look do it fairly close together so that they have that kind of full hair effect oh, I love it isn't that cute already so fun Maybe a slightly shorter one. I think one more on the other side and then we're done. Super quick, isn't it? There we go. Then you can just fiddle with it a bit. You can flatten them a bit if you want, but to be honest, I think they look absolutely fabulous. And that's it. You have now made a thing two and a thing one earlier on. Now, like I said, if you wanted to, you could add, uh, cut a little bit in here and in here to kind of shape the face. But to be honest, sometimes I think it's quite nice just to leave them. Now, remember to like, comment, subscribe, add this to your playlist, get crafty. And of course, we'd love to see you again soon. Bye.